A swim school based here in Florida is on a mission to spread three words to teach survival, turn, kick, reach. And we are so glad to welcome back Mindy York and Marlene Bloom, co-founders of Baby Otter Swim School and their new ambassador, Elliot England. Nice to see you all. It's been a while. Yes, it since has. I think Wonderful really the last maybe year or two since you've been here, you guys have expanded. Where are you now? We have um, into downtown Chicago with the Intercontinental, into Orlando with Westgate, and wow. Marriott Harbor Beach in Fort Lauderdale. So we're so thrilled to have our partners who understand the importance of you know, stepping out of the box and helping us save children from drowning. This is really something that started 40 years ago, tried and true, still around. Um, and it really boils down to, you know, a child falls in the water and what you teach them is turn, kick, reach. I think we actually have some video here. Ready, set, go. <laughs> And so there you see Elliot, he, he falls in the water, he turns, he kicks, he reaches. Elliot, how tough was that to, to learn? Great. It was great? <laughs> was it hard to learn that? What was the hardest part? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> was it hard, was it? You were yeah, a pro, fun. Right? Well, ladies, yeah. let me ask you this. In terms of measurability, does this, this work? This came on my screen Absolutely for a minute. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, children as young as eight months before they're even crawling, they understand. We do it in um, a program base, so everything is um, on lesson plans, one on one. We show them, we teach them, they get it. We live in Florida, we're surrounded by we are. water. Uh, two weeks ago, we had two little boys in, in Broward County. They yeah. climbed brother. the fence. Right. Two young brothers, I think we have a picture of them, mm -hmm. yeah. and so they terrible. drowned. Mm -hmm. And now we're hearing um, from some of the leading doctors a new study saying that kids should learn how, what, to swim Correct. before, right. before they, they will walk. The ARP Absolutely. came out with new standards, thanks mm -hmm. to the Millers and Nicole Hughes, that children should learn to swim before they walk, which, of course, Marlene and I knew that 40 years ago, but we're glad that they're on the same page with us now. Yeah. Take us through the program. This is a pretty intensive, what, five-day program? Yes. Five days program where they learned uh, the very first day a uh, private lesson. They learn how to hold their breath, put their face in the water, how to kick, and they learn to swim to the step with assistance. The first day we never let go of them. Yeah. Then on the second day they start learning how to swim to the step on their own. It's a gradual progression. Then they learn the third day how to swim to the wall with help. Again, we don't let go of them because it's a new situation. And then the fourth day they learn to swim to the wall by themselves. And then on the fifth day, they learn the most important part because they already know how to kick and reach. Sure. Now they're learning how to turn. And they turn, kick, reach back to safety. You, you see that resistance from the, the child on day one and maybe even the parents too. <laughs> yes. But by the fifth day, what you all see is truly a transformation. The parents are actually the hardest part. The kids are easy. <laughs> <laughs> are they now? Oh, yes, yes, they are. <laughs> We'll talk about that though. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for what you all do. We know you have a website, and you guys are getting calls day in and day out to bring your program and to teach mm -hmm. your are. program. So turn, kick, reach, making such a difference. Thanks for having us. Thank all you, thank all you so, so much. much. Thank you, Elliot. Good You're luck. Welcome. Good job out there, by the way.